Good day. It's great to be with you again today, and I hope that you find peace with God in this message and that you also find your community with God through this message. I'm going to read to us from John 12, from verse 20 to verse 33. Now, among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus, and Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and it dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, they will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it has uh, had thundered, and others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now this, the judgment of this world, now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show but what kind of death he was about to die. We're going to read to there. Now what we see in John is how Jesus is stripped from his man, uh, from being man and being glorified as God, as King. We see this already in this passage, how Jesus is stripped and use this uh, metaphor of a grain that falls into the earth and bears much fruit. But we also see right before this passage how Jesus enters Jerusalem on a donkey and is praised. We also see how he is uh, being crowned before Pilate. How he's getting a crown, a purple mantle, how he's put on the throne, a really macabre throning of Christ. But how God bears much fruit through this whole ordeal. And I think this is the encouragement to the people in Ephesus that listens to this passage. How they see God, how they see God through being stripped of their own humanity and how He is thrown, how He lives again. With us in this time of Lent, we can also bear this dying of ourselves and being enthroned with Christ within us. May you find within this community, within your community, that you're part of, that Christ is within you. May we see that with each other. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.